really close to right in the center of Nishikichi by now and seeing how much it's going to be costing. Oh my god, look at the buildings. I hope you guys are okay with looking at this. <laughs> And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. It's me, Shogo, and I have Toko and Kazu with me today. Hello! So today, guys, we are right now right in front of Nishiki Tenmangu, but this is going to be one of the most exciting videos we've ever filmed. Right over there is actually the very famous Nishiki Ichiba, the kitchen of Kyoto. Mm. There are tons of amazing and delicious street vendors in one street, and it's one of the absolute places you should visit if you come to Kyoto. But today, we got special permission yes. to actually walk through Nishiki Ichiba, and we're going to be visiting the shops there, going and actually buying their food, and seeing how much it's going to be costing so it'll be nice information for you before you actually come to Nishiki Ichiba. In this channel, you can take a closer look at Japanese food culture, tips on traveling to Kyoto, and social problems in Japan. So learners and lovers of Japanese language and culture, be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content. So let's go. Let's go. So this is the entrance of the Nishiki Ichiba. It starts from here. So let's start going inside then. Hey. Nishiki Market is the most popular shopping street in Kyoto. It is called the Kyoto's Kitchen because it has been the center of food culture in Kyoto for a long time. By long time, I mean very long, since it was authorized by the Edo Shogunate as an official fish wholesaler in 1615, about 400 years ago. The reason why fishmongers gathered in this area was because of the good quality groundwater which is required to preserve fish. Today, they also have shops that sell ingredients, meat, sweets, and merchandise. It's the perfect place for you to enjoy Kyoto cuisine all at once. We got permission from a few shops this time. Yeah. This is going to be the first place we're going to be going to. Mm. My Sendo-san. Oh, oh wow. It's the shop It's a of fan the... shop. I'd love to go inside and take a yeah, look. Let's yeah, let's go. There are so many different designs, materials, and sizes of fans that can be used in daily life. And the super gorgeous ones for decorations too. Other than fans, they also have a wide selection of Japanese accessories, makeup products, etc. They absolutely have a higher quality collection than a typical souvenir shop. According to the staff, the more ribs a fan has, each bamboo rib will be thinly shaved so it will produce more wind. Now, let me try to find a souvenir for Harumi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's let me that, take a closer that. look and try to find a souvenir for Harumi. Mm. I think a very simple one that she can use all year round would be perfect. Mm -hmm. I chose the Kyoto style fan that was hand painted by an artist for Harumi. I bet she would really like the light colors. Alright, let's go in pay then. Yay, we got it! Yay, we got it! My Sin Bilsan has the very beautiful logo on it too. So then the next place we're going to be heading over to uh -huh. is Hirosa. Hirosa, okay! Yep, this is it! If you live in Kyoto, you must have seen this famous shop somewhere at least once. They not only sell meat, but run yakiniku restaurants too. Everything looks super delicious. Yeah. Special. Okay, I am definitely drooling up, so I definitely need to order something here. Mm. Are there any recommendations? This right here, obviously. The big picture here, the yeah. beef sushi is the most recommended. Yeah. Japanese style beef, of yeah. course, with their original sauce on it too. Mm. So we will order this, and there are some small tables over there for us to eat, so let's do that then. Okay. Okay. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Look at it! Oh, oh looks so good! Ah, oh, that must be... It's probably wasabi on top? Mm, I think so, I think so. Oh, but the quality of wasabi must be really good. Yeah. I also got the... Kuroke! 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 Kuroke here on this side too. They actually use, of course, the Wagyu beef in this Kuroke oh, as well. Oh, so. it's gonna be so good! It looks amazing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they just deep fried it for exactly, us. Exactly, so. exactly. Oh. Okay, oh my gosh. It's <laughs> Where is so... it left? <laughs> it's right here. Oh, see? Oh, oh, see that God. steam going out. Oh, it looks delicious. Awesome. Then, here we go. First bite. Mm. 
Mm. It's super hot. Mm. <laughs> yeah, be mm. careful. This is really, really good. Oh. You know what's amazing? Yeah. Is that this is just around 130 yen. Mm. The volume is really big, actually. Uh, uh, uh. This is amazing. Look <laughs> at it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm meat just, sushi. <laughs> I'm just going to be going for this. Yeah, Let's just dig this. in, dig in. One bite. Mm. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> The meat yeah. is 1,000 times more tender than you would imagine. Really? Mm. Oh, this is amazing. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> this is so good. It's gone. It's gone all super quick. <laughs> I wanted 30 more. 30. <laughs> really? <laughs> Maybe not, but this is really, really good. Mm. Wow. Let's move on to the next shop. Let's go. I believe it's really close by too. Uh huh. Right here, Kaisa. Oh. Right here as well. Wow, the atmosphere is completely different now. What is that? Obviously, the first thing that would immediately come into your eyes are these. Wow. Oh my gosh, Tako Tamago. Oh, you can see here. There's these really tiny ants inside oh. the small octopus. Probably on this side are all the ingredients for making rice balls too, mm. as you can see. Oh, yeah, the puri kake. Oh. Yeah. Ah, there's some... Oh, they gave us the gomakatsu here. Oh, really? Sesame and bonito flakes. Awesome. Let me try it out. Mmm. It tastes really good. Oh, really? Mm. The saltiness is amazing. Uh -huh. oh. oh, my kids will absolutely love this. Oh, too. really? And it says all here is really good for health as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. But now though, absolutely, we cannot miss out on the takotabago. Taco yes. I'd love mm -hmm. to order this as well. Perfect. I hope you guys are okay with looking at me. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure you definitely not have no, anything like this. You before. would not see I this. I have anywhere. never had this before either myself, so <laughs> this will be an amazing experience if mm. you have the courage. <laughs> yeah. Then it's time for me to try this out, uh, maybe from the legs, I think. Mm. Oh, I think it's dipped in some sauce, I think. Sauce. Mm. Mm. As you guys can see, it's really shiny. Mm. 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 Really good. Then, go over the head. Okay. Right. Oh no, Shango! <laughs> no, mm. the poor octopus. Mm. It's really chewy. Oh really? Yeah. And I personally love octopus squid. Uh -huh. You know, <laughs> you see the egg in there too. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a nice combination. No, no, I seriously love this. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Is the sauce what, sweet or sour or...? Um, it's definitely not that strong, but it's definitely salty though. Oh, okay, Yeah, it's okay. more of a salty oh. taste. This is such a Japanese -y taste, it's so hard to describe. Oh. But one thing I absolutely say is that's not raw. Mm. It's not raw though, it's boiled probably. Oh, okay, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. why the legs are kind of curled up, right? Exactly, exactly, oh, okay, that's okay. right. That's, oh. So that's one thing I can say, oh. yeah. Okay, go, go, finish him off. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Mm, delicious. Mm. This is the shop where they sell the namahu. Yeah. Mm. Namahu is a popular local dish in Kyoto that is made by kneading wheat flour with water and steaming the gluten with the starch removed. Dried kinds are the typical hu that are often used in miso soup, but in Kyoto, you enjoy eating them raw without drying. The reason why Namahu is so famous in Kyoto is thanks to its geographical feature of being surrounded by mountains, providing plenty of fresh water which is necessary to produce them. Oh, they have actually these small, almost sweet-like ku as well. Oh, yeah, but yeah. the inside is actually vegetables. And there's meat in this one too, for oh, example. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, this is a bingaku that I was oh, talking yay. about earlier. They have the miso on top. Mm -hmm. Can we buy this one then? Yeah, let's yeah, do that. Can we get one of these? Yay, got oh, it! Oh, so there's uh, five! Yeah, there's it. five. And there's actually it seems different colors and tastes to the namahu too. Oh, that's right. Oh, looks nice. Okay, 48 yen. Hi, thank you. 
Hey, hey we got it! it. <laughs> and they told us this is the space that we can use to eat it. Yeah, they actually have an eating space here. I love the chojuki on the cushions. Oh, yay! <laughs> it's so, so cute. cute. Let's go! Ta da! <laughs> oh. This white one here is mm. the plain one, I think. Mm, the regular. Kind. Yeah, regular one. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I love to try this out. Bekimasu. It's actually really sticky. All right. <laughs> mm. It's really good. Really good. <laughs> I really love these soft and chewy kind of foods, mm, you know, in mm, general. Yeah. Mm, I love it. <laughs> ah, the dengaku miso oh. is actually a little bit sweeter mm -hmm. than regular miso. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Perfect for the food. Mm. And then this yellow one, too. I don't know what oh, that is. this one is. Like curry, maybe. Curry, <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh, it tastes completely different, but I don't know what it is, though. Oh, really? <laughs> what does the yellow one say? Awahu. Awahu? It's awa in it. Okay, okay, okay. What, what's what's awa? Awa is a zakkoku, actually. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. maybe in terms of yellow? I thought it was bubbles. No, not bubbles, no. <laughs> but now that I'd love to have Kazu try it out, too. Okay! Yes. Oh, yeah. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Mmm. It's really soft and chewy. Mm -hmm. A little bit more chewier than regular, I think. I think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like you were saying, the miso dengaku goes perfect with it the It really does, it really oh, I does. I love this. At first, you might be a little bit surprised by the miso taste, but mm. once you get used to that, by the, by the second or third one, you yeah, you're gonna love in it. love with this, mm. absolutely. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> really, really good. But seriously, there's so many places that we couldn't go today. Yeah, so. exactly, exactly. Here we are. This is the next shop for here. So this is actually a pottery shop here. Mm, mm, mm. And all the pottery are Kyoto style pottery. Mm. So this is another very beautiful place you can come to buy some souvenirs. Yay! Okay. Perfect. I was starting to get a little bit full. So <laughs> yeah. perfect time hey, for us. Take to a little bit of break. Take a little bit of break and see inside the shop here. <laughs> awesome. You see all of these different types of cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I really, really love the mug cups too they have. Oh, wow, the colors are it's so vivid. Really, really beautiful. I wonder how they did this. It's probably to represent flowers, but... I think so, I think so. I think... These series of products are called Hanakesho, flower crystals. These crystals are formed through the process of the glaze melting and cooling. Because it's naturally created, there are never the same patterns. Ah, uh, I love those kind of concepts. Yes! Mm. Yeah, you know, you see a lot in tea ceremonies and such mm. too, of wabi-sabi. You know, something that never comes back, mm. but you let nature do it yeah, for that, you kind yeah, of idea. Yeah. And this side, mm. the designs look completely different actually. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, all... this side has more of the very easy to understand flowers. Mm. I think. So this really depends on your taste, I think. I think yeah. so, yeah. Mm -hmm -hmm. I just love the maneki neko up there. <laughs> I was going to say that. They're so, so cute. cute. I'm sure you've seen them before in Japanese anime and movies. The ones raising their right paw brings in luck for money. And the ones raising their left paw brings in customers. Very interesting. At the shop, I decided to buy flower crystal chopstick rests. Mm -hmm. This pink-ish Oh, Oh, blend. that's a really good pattern. Really, though. really beautiful there. You can see the crystals as well. And I think this one can you see it's almost like you, there's something inside? Mm, yeah, you yeah. can see like a depth in there. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. <laughs> I think this is really beautiful. This is gonna be for me and this is gonna be for Harimi. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. I have a pair of chopstick rests now. Oh, yeah. let's go. Okay, I got it. Yay! Oh, Harimi's gonna be really excited. Yeah, she's gonna love it. And this too. <laughs> yeah. I have so many souvenirs for her Yay. today. Let's go. No, I think we're really close to right in the center of Nishikichi by now. So. Mm -hmm. Wow, so much fish sold everywhere. Now, all the people working here, you know, making the dishes right in front of your eyes. Mm -hmm. This is the next shop. Yes. Yes. Orikisa. Here we are. Oh my gosh, look at all of these on sale in front of the shop. Oh, this looks so good. This is beautiful. But they actually have the hamo tempura here. Oh, yeah. Wow. Hamo is one of Kyoto's specialties. Since Kyoto is an inland basin, 
Fresh fish was never available and used to be brought in from distant ports. However, hamo is more vital and could stay fresh longer than other fish, so it was often eaten in Kyoto. I think this is really recommended also, but if you are not interested in the hummel, there's all the other things as well. Mm. Yeah. Well, this is actually not just tempura, but also deep fried hummel as well. Oh, wow. Yuba, also very famous in Kyoto. Mm. They have the shrimps. Mm -hmm. If you come over here, I believe mm. these are eels. Mm. Unagi, the oh. They make some shiny. Wait, seriously? These size unagi uh -huh. sticks are 500 yen? Yeah. They're super, <laughs> They're super cheap. <laughs> Oh, these are the hamo sushi too. Really? I've never, I've never seen it. Never. Sushi either. Well, that's really oh, rare. This is nice. Then I guess we would absolutely go for the recommendations, the hamo tempura. Mm, mm, definitely. Maybe we'll for some one more thing too, by the mm, way. What do you mm, think mm. would be a good idea? I kind of want to compare the tempura and the katsu, the deep fried. Oh, the both the, both uh, the hamo. Okay, okay, okay. Hamo no tempura to hamo no katsu o ippon desu onegai shimo yoroshii desu ka? Hi, arigatou gozaimasu. So they actually have seats inside this restaurant too, so mm. let's go inside then. So then I love to start eating, maybe starting from the tempura here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have some chopsticks too here. Oh, so. It's so good. It does. I love hummel in the first mm -hmm. place, so there you go. Mm. Is it good? It's really good. Oh. Mm. Oh, the coatings are so crispy. Uh huh. Mm. The differences of tempura are created by the taste, uh -huh. um, the seasoning of the coatings yeah. on the other side. So I really, really like it. Yeah. The next is the deep fried one. Yes. It's the katsu oh. here. So I'm going to try this out as well. <laughs> it's really, really good. Mm. Very different from tempura. Really? Mm. Is the mm. taste different too? I mean, the taste is, of course, the hummel. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. But the outer coatings give it a different texture. Uh huh. So it feels completely different. Oh, mm. that's so, so nice. I personally <laughs> would recommend both. Uh -huh. yeah. But if you're going to be eating a lot of things in the street, I think I would still recommend the tempura. Tempura. Oh, yeah, okay, it's okay. a little bit lighter uh -huh, uh -huh. than mm -hmm. the deep fried one. So, I mean, they're both deep fried, but <laughs> yeah, a, lot, a little bit lighter than the katsu tempura mm -hmm. is. So, this is a really good too, though. <laughs> uh, walking down this aisle, this mm -hmm. Niski market, yeah. it, you kind of really understand what kind of foods are really popular or like oh, traditional in Kyoto. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because everything is mashed up in this one street. Mm -hmm. All right, then, here we are. Mm -hmm. This is Kimura san. Oh. Senyo, it says. Fresh fish. Fresh fish. They have a lot of things in front of the shop, too. Mm. So let's take a look at yeah, it. Let's go. Oh, oh, they look so good. Oh my gosh, they have so many things here. They're all on the ice, mm. you know. It must be really fresh. This is probably somewhere that you can buy these for dinner and such and take home. Yeah. Be oh honest, my. looking at the prices, yeah. these are super cheap. No, they're not expensive at all. No, mm. not, not at all. Because I just found something. What? I cannot miss. You know, I am a big fan of sushi uh -huh. and, and sashimi and such, right? Look at that over there. <gasps> On the sticks. What? Oh my god. Oh my god, that looks so good. It looks amazingly good. I mean, all the sushi too, they probably make them themselves. Uh -huh. Because look at how much fish they yeah, have. The, the topping bowl. is so. Oh my god. There's gosh. like more toppings than the fillings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> than yeah. the rice. Exactly, exactly. Oh my god. Hi. あ、そうですね。いや、ミガス、こいつ待ってますね、このマキとかも。めっちゃ。え、そして全部400円。え、そして全部400円。400円。400円ですか。はい。すごい。お前がしゃ、すごいサプライズ。プライス。プライスです。
Then I'll start from this. This yeah, is the looks, salmon stick. Looks, looks so good. good. <laughs> it's so fresh. So is that mm. basil leaves on top? Mm -hmm. mm. It just really gives a nice accent to it, you know? Ah, oh, I can tell. <laughs> it looks so good. <laughs> this is all mine though. It's all mine. <laughs> but don't worry, because Kazu gets to have this too. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh my god, look at the buildings. Oh. It's unbelievable how much there's in it. The thickness <laughs> yep. is like stunning as well. Look how thick the sushi mm, is. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. There's some wasabi here, yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna be taking this and putting this on the top here. Ooh, <laughs> it's so it huge. So I heavy. Could drop ah, you some. dropped some, no! <laughs> but I have a soy sauce here. Oh my gosh, I'm not too sure if I can eat this in one bite, but there we go, I gotta try. <laughs> Your mouth is so full. You're like a chipmunk or something. <laughs> mm. I don't feel the rice yet. <laughs> There's so many different types of fish in it. Mm -hmm. mm. It's a festival inside your mouth. <laughs> oh my gosh. Kazu, you have to try this out. Okay, 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 okay. Go for this one or this one. These ones are huge. Okay. Get that. How much? Freaking huge there. The rice is like extra. I know, I know. <laughs> Go for it. Mm. While Kazu is completely filled up, mm. <laughs> while he enjoys the moment. Yeah. The people working here, they go literally to the markets in the early morning mm -hmm. to get the fish that they sell on that day and such. So they have, you know, the eyes to choose the best fish and everything from their experience. So they absolutely understand they choose the best ones. Definitely. Yeah. Oh my god. I seriously mm -hmm. felt like Poseidon. <laughs> <laughs> the king of the seas. <laughs> Every fish in mm -hmm. the sea was in my mouth. <laughs> and guys, don't forget about the 400 yen too. It's a miracle that they sell this at 400 yen. Where's <sighs> that All right, so then right next to Kimura san, right over here is actually one of my most Favorite shops in Nishikichiba. Mm -hmm. I've been here so many times. It's Sawawa san. Sawawa. As you can see from the color of the shop, everything is matcha. Mama, mama, matcha. <laughs> <laughs> they actually have a cafe on the second floor. Oh. So these are some of the things that you get to order. <laughs> Look at all these oh, delicious the looking matcha related stuff. Wow. Okay, let's go inside and take a closer look at all the items okay. as well. So these are some of the snacks you could take home with you. Mm -hmm. Can you believe? how many matcha related products there are. They are all perfect for souvenirs. Among them, there was one that especially caught our eyes. Oh wait, hold on. What? This looks so cool. What? Is this what? the cup? What? what? It's really? A the whole thing is a cake. Oh, oh my god, god. that is That's so unique. creative. I've never <laughs> heard of this before. Well, you can eat it, right? Yeah, you get to eat the whole thing. No, it's just it looks really? like a cup seriously? and matcha. No, seriously, it? if you look at it, it, look, it really looks like a tea bowl. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Here, I actually like to order some of the drink I use that. Oh. I'm actually interested in the matcha latte here. Mm. So it's really, really nice. Mm. It's really, really nice. So then we got to the counter area. This is the Sawawa cup. Looks really nice, doesn't it? Yeah. And they explained to us that it's not sweet, so they gave us some of the gum syrup too. Oh, okay. But I'm, I'm not. I'm completely fine with it not being sweet at all, so. We can uh, drink it and see. Yeah, whether, true, mm. true, true. It's really up to you, so. Here we go. Mm. It's nice. I love it. I was starting to get a little bit full, so. <laughs> <laughs> kind of relaxed this for a while. This is second. really, really nice. Mm -hmm. Refreshing, very refreshing. Oh, but as they explained, it's not sweet at all. No, absolutely not. So then is it more close to the real, real matcha? Tea, it really matcha? is close to the real matcha, mm -hmm. which I love, personally love a lot, yeah. And matcha, if you go on the internet and such and look for matcha, there are the really, really bad quality stuff and such. But if you come here to these kind of shops, the quality is guaranteed to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Completely gone now. Mm. I did not have to use the gum syrup. Mm. Mm. The whipped cream on top was enough sweetness for me. 
Mm. Oh, but you can see the Ishikichiba is almost about to end. Oh you can see no, the exit our trip is there. almost concluding. Yes, that's right. You know, I was walking down and I kind of noticed there are some shops that are actually closed. Yep, exactly, exactly. Oh. Yeah, I guess because of the COVID. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, yeah. that's too bad. See, some of these places here, it seems they're closed. See, they're under construction. Uh, I'm pretty sure the original shop is gone. Oh, uh, that's, that's too bad. This is the place we're heading last. Uh-huh. Hey, oh, it looks really nice. Oh, oh wow. Let's take a look at the front first. Okay. Mm. Oh, what are these? Nure <laughs> Okaki. The Nishiki Ichiba, the, the street food here, absolutely love the sticks. Here, <laughs> yeah, the, the sticks. sticks. Mm. Okaki refers to sweets made from mochi rice cakes by cutting them into small pieces, drying them, and then roast them until they turn into a nice golden brown color. Nure okaki are okaki that has been dipped in soy sauce. The outside is crispy, but the inside is soft and chewy. Are, are they rice cakes? They seriously look they like, don't look like, like it, beef. So. Yeah, exactly. That's why <laughs> like I like meat. Yeah, I have, I have no clue what it tastes like. Oh. I've never had it before, so. And how about we go inside the shop too? Yeah, yeah, yeah let's look inside. Oh, oh, see, they have the nure okaki in the baths too. Oh, for okay, okay. Oh, okay. If you go inside this area here, you can see all of the senbei. Oh, Basically, so, they're kind of like the dry snacks. Dry you know, snacks, yeah. You know, mm. in Japan. The mitarashi fu o ippon to izu daikon to ippon zutsu o negai shimasu. 490 yen desu. Yay, we got it! It looks like something I've never ever seen before. <laughs> what is, what this? is that? <laughs> what is this? Okay, so then it's time for me to try out these. Ooh. No, literally, I have no clue what they're supposed to taste like. <laughs> you know, the food samples still look like beef, and yeah. it's the real product came, but it still looks still like beef. It looks like it. <laughs> oh. I just had to go then. Let's do this. Mm. Huh? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> what is that face? <laughs> but the outer layer is really, really crunchy and sticky. Uh -huh. and the inside is soft. You know. Is it a little bit weird? <laughs> it's new. Uh. Mm. It's really new to me. Oh, and the midashi is definitely really, really delicious. Mm. Oh my gosh. And let me try this one over here too. They were saying this one is the yuzu daikon. Yuzu daikon. They're radish on Radish. It. And I believe the white sauce on top is mayonnaise, actually. <laughs> See that? What was? kind of combination is that? I have no clue. <laughs> okay, maybe this is not your liking. <laughs> no, it's just so difficult to explain. I don't know what this is. <laughs> is it is it good? Mm. Do you like it? Mm. Kazi, come over here and try this out. Okay, for okay. Me. <laughs> I'll have Kazi help me out. Okay, I love these new experiences, so. <laughs> mm. like, is it, it's like, what is this? <laughs> okay, I understand. This is really difficult to yeah. describe. It's really something new for me yeah but i seriously love it oh, dude, it's yeah, really okay, good okay, can okay. i eat another one yeah why not it's seriously so good <laughs> go for it, go for it. <laughs> i'm a bit scared <laughs> i like this one better oh really oh, that's good that's good <laughs> this is so weird but it's so good <laughs> it's mm. like really addicting you know mm -hmm. um i wouldn't like Super highly recommended. Mm -hmm. Like you gotta eat this thing, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But um, if you like stop by, I I like recommend you try it once. Mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. it's something only the people who eat it would know. <laughs> this one is Let's go have my Thank you so much. <laughs> so we got to the end of the Nishiki Market. We just went to the shop, and this <laughs> is the end. From here, this is just the, the cities of Kyoto, so it's completely a different area. So we really, really enjoyed the full street of Nishiki Chiba today. It was an amazing experience. The total price, by the way, is right here, as you guys can see. Yeah. It was definitely not so expensive at all. The price here is because we bought the, the fan, yeah, no. <laughs> and also the pottery too. Oh, yeah, 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 if you did not buy that, if it was just the, the, um, the dishes and also the drinks, the price would turn into this. 
it'll be much, much cheaper. Right? And I am absolutely full. So <laughs> I probably don't need to eat anything anymore today. So <laughs> considering that, and also all the experience of being able to eat so, at so many places and uh, talk with so many people, I think is, is really, really amazing experience. So again, highly recommend it. And I really hope this video was really interesting and also very informative for you too. Personally, I enjoyed going to it's really difficult to decide, but I think the first thing that immediately come to my mind is actually the meat sushi mm. at Hirosan. Yeah. And also the sushi that we ate. The fish is always sushi, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's because I love sushi so much. Yeah. I hope you can especially check out the places that we went. But the places we went is just like one tenth of all the shops mm -hmm. in Nishiki Market. So when you actually come, I have to check out all the other places as well. And if you thought this video was interesting and informative, it'd be great if you can hit the like button and also subscribe to help us out. And we'll see you in our next video when we take an adventure through Kyoto. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye bye.